In this video, let's take a look at the data center fabric provisioning functionality in NetEdit. This feature will help you configure your brand new leaf and spine switches with OSPF, IBGP, VXLAN. While in the 4G view, let's select the desired leaf and spine switches. Right click, select deploy solutions, select your DC L2 VXLAN EVPN. Select your desired ranges of VLANs to be provisioned in the fabric. Click preview. View the generated configs. On the left, you see before. On the right, you see after. You see the VLANs, EVPN, interface, IP addresses, OSPF, interface VXLAN, BGP, and EVPN address family. They are created on the leaf switch. On the spine switch, you do the same. You can also see OSPF, IP addresses towards the leaf switches are configured, as well as BGP with route reflector on the spine switches. You'll click on OK Next. And if you wanted to modify the fabric parameters, you can expand the fabric parameters section, specify your desired IP fabric range, your BGPS number, but we stick to default and create. Next is the stage where NetEdit runs its conformance test and tries to validate the configuration is valid for other devices. Once it's done, you can click on Deploy to actually push the configs down to the desired leaf and spine switches. After the deployment is complete, we can choose to commit to save the configurations onto those devices and click on change validation next. We can now check if OSPF is now enabled correctly, if the routes are now coming in as expected. You might need to refresh to get the updated information from the device. You can also check if BGP is established correctly to the spine switches from the leaf switch. The topology view should now be updated with the links. And if you wanted to view the VXLAN tunnel, you would select switch to switch, put in your desired VNI and segmentation on the left. You can also gather more information by selecting a desired switch and scrolling down on the right. You will be able to view the different VNIs and their source and destination VTAP addresses. After the fabric is provisioned, you can choose to add configuration by selecting your desired switches. By clicking deploy solution, select add and remove configuration. You can add configurations such as new VLANs or bringing up ports towards the servers. Going to interface level, specifying no routing, VLAN access, and no shut access examples. Preview so you can see the differences before and after and push down the config to the devices.